The Bluffton Bobcats beat the Buford Eagles in the Battle of the Broad River 28 to 11 on Friday night. Uh, a good ball game uh, for Buford. Bluffton just a little too much offensive firepower. Yes, and Buford played three good quarters. They only had one bad quarter where they gave up a couple touchdowns, and that's where they fell behind. But if they could uh, come back next week and put together four good quarters, I think they'll be back in the win column. Yeah, they're off to an 0 and 2 start on the season, but uh, there were some bright spots. A couple of running backs at Buford High. Oh yeah, Mexico Jeffrey Tooks and, and Zarpinski. I mean, they're just doing a, a great job running the football. They're getting a lot of uh, cohesion with the offensive line. They're they're, they're playing really well up front for them. They moved the ball against a tough Bluffton defense. So. Buford I think you know the, the, they have a good chance to come back next week, and you know if they play good defense again, like they did for three quarters, and they're able to run the football between the tackles, it could be a different outcome for them. All right, Buford High off to an 0 and 2 start on the season. Let's talk a little bit about Bluffton. They got over the hump now. They're two and one, and they're playing well, and the motor's starting to run a little bit. You could tell. Yeah, and they, well, they had a tough game against Effingham last week, as we know, and they lost. Uh, um, came close to winning. Yeah. They lost by five points. They came out here tonight. They played at a high level, where and. You, it showed by getting up in a hurry um, how explosive th their offense can be, and they were able to maintain it with their defense in the second half. Zach Belger was our Lava 24 fitness player of the game, but Cameron Bent <laughs> may have had the play of the year, huh? Oh, he did, too. 22-yard touchdowns, but he ran like, like 75 yards from sideline to sideline. That's uh, 53 yards in addition to the 22, so it was a great run by Cam Bent. It was a lot of fun for all of us uh, at WHHI. We had a great time bringing it to you. We'll bring you a game coming up very soon, just a week from Thursday, when Buford takes on Battery Creek. That's take care of the Rick and Ball wrap-up right here on WHHI Sports.